Cubeland's 57 series rotary unions are the industry standard for general manufacturing applications using water, water glycol, hot oil and steam. One of the advantages of the Jublin design is that its rotary unions can often be refurbished on site at the plant level. Service kits containing replacement components or C kits are readily available to extend the life and performance of the rotary union. This video will guide you step by step through instructions to disassemble and reassemble rotary unions with replacement C kit parts. Please note that tooling used and described in the disassemble and reassemble process are not included in the service kits. First, let's have a look at the components of the 57 series. The 57 series spans a range of sizes. Regardless of which size 57 series union is used by your application, the components are fundamentally the same. The seal kit can be used to replace both seals, the o-ring, the seal guide and the coil spring as well as model specific o-rings and gaskets. Replacing these components begins with disassembling the union. The first step is to remove the union's snap ring. The rotor package is then threaded into a removal plate that is supplied by the customer. You'll next need to make a disassembly rod. Refer to the chart for dimensions for your specific 57 series model. Press on the plug with the disassembly rod to carefully remove the rotor package from the union. Now, the floating seal, o-ring, seal guide and coil spring can all be removed from the union. Clean the union housing thoroughly, then measure the bore surface for wear or pitting. The measured value should not exceed the maximum value given in the table for your 57 series model number. Within the area labelled C, the bore surface must be smoothed to a maximum roughness level value B. For all 57 series models, the maximum roughness value for B is RA 1.0. Now the union can be reassembled with new components from the C kit. To assemble the replacement coil spring, you'll need a spring retaining pin and a spring compressor. Refer to the chart for dimensions for your specific 57 series model. Grease the housing bearing ball and insert the coil spring with the spring compressor until the spring retaining pin can be inserted through the entrance port. Remove the spring compressor, insert the seal guide, then grease and insert the o-ring. Install a new floating seal after cleaning the seal face and lubricate it with light viscosity SAE 20 oil. If your rotor package is an o-ring with a groove, use the o-ring. If your rotor package is a flat surface with no groove, use the gasket. Grease either the o-ring or the gasket from the C-kit depending on which type of rotor package you have to hold the rotor seal into place on the rotor package. Clean the rotor seal face and insert the seal ring into the rotor. Carefully press the rotor package into place. Assemble the snap ring into the union housing and remove the spring retaining pin. Make sure the spring is not caught on an edge once the spring retaining pin is removed. The final step is to test the reassembled union before installation on the machine. Ensure that the duoflow port is plugged and the rotor end is capped. Apply a minimum 3.5 bar air pressure. Cover all but one of the test holes and apply a soap water solution or bubble soap over the open test hole. Rotate the union by hand. If no soap bubble rises, the union passes the test. In the instance where the union does not pass testing, follow steps to disassemble, verify that sealing surfaces and components are free of debris and reassemble and repeat the test. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact Norman G. Clark on 03 9116 9200. An application engineer will be able to assist you.
Dublin, the world's largest manufacturer of rotary unions, offers engineered solutions for a multitude of applications.